Welcome back to the Why Not 3 Daily Show, where in less than three minutes, I'll share a story worth sharing or a tip worth doing. Let's just jump into this story of today. Entrepreneurship in Belgium versus the Netherlands. Who better to show it than somebody who is from Belgium and now lives in the Netherlands? So, what I noticed. I noticed that it is way easier to grow as a startup in the Netherlands versus Belgium simply because there are more meetups and they are most of the time free because corporates have budgets. Not only that, the way the tax system is built, it, it is much nicer to start out as an entrepreneur especially if you don't know where your income is going to be first couple years in the Netherlands. In Belgium, the tax system is built in such a way that if you are not sure about being an entrepreneur, it's not going to be worth it because you're going to be paying a lot of taxes, social support, just to discourage you from entering the workforce as an entrepreneur because it's not good for the government if you do that. You pay way less tax especially in the beginning, so they pretty much just raise it to a minimum tax. Now, that being said, there is some support here and there. We did start out there, we did grow it there. If your business is more into the political institutions, the big corporations that are settled in Brussels, that'd be really interesting for you. That being said, when we moved to the Netherlands, our main office was in the Netherlands, we started noticing that one doesn't exclude the other because it's so close together. However, the Dutch really like it when your main base is in the Netherlands. and so entrepreneurship seemed to be easier and it kind of showed in the revenue that we were doing and also in the team. The team grew in less than a year more to double the size and I couldn't have done that if it wasn't for the support that the Dutch government provided and the corporates and how supportive everyone is. So that is kind of my really short comparison of kind of three minutes. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to be on the 30 day challenge because I go way deeper into this stuff because I have more time with you. But if you like this video, hit the like button and comment below if you have a question and share it with a friend. And I'll see you in the next video. If you like this episode, you can check out the most recent episode here. And if you haven't already, make sure you click here to subscribe and see the next one. But if you're interested in more tips and tricks on improving your health, wealth, and relationships, then click this little box and we'll get you started on our free 30-day challenge where you get the behind the scenes of some of my speeches and day-to-day -day clients.